Okay, so I thought we'd try and uh, make our our ghost color game a little bit more interesting. And what I'd like to do is um, I'd like to add another sprite to the screen that kind of comes onto the screen. And what that sprite's going to do is it's going to create new uh, ghost sprites uh, until you click it and kill it. Okay, so let's start out. I'm going to make a new sprite and let's see. I got a fantasy. I think the ghoul is a, is a really good choice for this. So. I'm going to click on the ghoul. Okay, so I've got my ghoul sprite. And if I open that, and I want him to do left and right. Now you notice how big he is. So let's go and switch his costume and make him a little bit smaller. Okay, and then don't forget to center the sprite. So he rotates, he looks normal. Okay, there we go. So we could use the ghoul A and ghoul B, but for now we'll just use the ghoul B. So I'm going to come back. So I'm going to do something uh, different with this guy. Uh, when I start the, the game, I don't want the sprite to be there. I want it to be hidden. And so what I do is I go to my events. And so when the game starts, which is the green flag, I'm going to go to hide. And the reason I'm going to do that is that uh, I want this sprite to appear only once I've hit a certain score. So so, like for example, like let's say when I hit 100 points, uh, the sprite will appear and start creating new ghosts. And I'll show you how we're going to do that in a minute. Um, so basically, what we need to do is at this point, is we need to make a forever loop. Okay, so forever. And so we're going to start it, we're going to hide it, and forever, it's going to check. Okay, so if... What I'm going to do is, so if the score is, let's say, equal to, let's say, 80. Just pick a, pick a number, it doesn't really matter. So if the score is equal to 80, I want to show the sprite. I want to, where is that? Move the sprite to a random location. So this is something we've done before. So if you remember, x is minus, you think to yourself, minus what? To plus. Okay, so hopefully you remember that, minus 240 to plus 240. And y is minus 180 to plus 180. So go. And then what I want to do is at that point, so showed it going, I want to pick a random direction. So I'm going to point in direction. And directions actually go, we didn't really talk about this before, but if you look, um, we've got right is 90. So you got zero is up, goes, you know, 45, 90, all the way down to 180. Or we can go minus 45, minus 90, all the way down to minus 180. I think so. So with this one, what we're going to do is minus 180 to 180. Okay. And then we need to make another loop. So forever, we want say we'll say move. Say so try two, so we want to well let's try five. And what's gonna well we try this new one here. If on edge bounce, let's see what happens there. Actually, while I'm testing, I don't want to have to get to 80 points. Um, so I'm gonna say 10 points. Okay, I'm gonna click start, see what happens. So I'm gonna click one ghost. Try to click one ghost. Okay, notice the score is 10. And the sprite is not appearing. Stop that and try it again. Oh, there it is. Not sure what happened there. Let's try it again. Boom. 10 points. Okay. Actually, I do know what's happening. Okay, what's happening is that the score equals 10. And it's kind of getting stuck there because the score keeps equaling 10. So what we'll do is we're going to change the score. 
So it only does this one time. So now I click that. There's the bell. So I pull one of these. Now the ghoul should appear. Or maybe not. Gosh darn it. Got it. Okay. This has to go in there. My bad. Okay, so let's try it again. And there we go. Okay, so what was happening here, it's an easy mistake to make, is it would forever, it would check this once, then check this and just stay in, stuck in here. If I put this in here, it would only get to here if the score equals 10. Okay, so let's test that. Okay, so you can see, and watch what happens when it hits the border. Boom, it's bouncing. Okay, so I'm going to hit stop. Okay. So now what we want it to do is we want it to create, we want it to create. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is, you know, we want to use this ghoul as a means of adding more ghosts uh, to the screen. And so what we want to do is we're going to use, this, you know, the same thing we used last time, uh, create clone of. So... So once this ghoul comes on the screen, we want it to create a clone of the ghost, okay? Um, until we click it. Um, so we have to actually add that. So when this sprite is clicked, we want to hide it, just like we did with the ghost. Okay, so let's let's try this and see what happens. Now remember, we're using so when the score is ten, uh, we're going to add 10 points, uh, show the, the ghoul, go to a random spot, point in a random direction, and then just start moving and creating clones. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so I need to click on a sprite because I got zero points. Okay, so you see I've clicked on the ghoul, but it's still creating sprites. Okay, so let's Couple things we need to take care of here. Well, I created first of all, create a lot of sprites, which was too many. Um, the second thing we need to do is, when the sprite is clicked, we're going to hide it. But what we also need to do is to stop other scripts in this sprite. So this is one script. This is another script. So we want to stop the other scripts in the sprite. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so it's creating, stop. Oh, I'm gonna kill it. Oops, kill it. Okay. Now you can see no more sprites are being, it's hard to tell, but there are no more sprites being created. Okay, because I stopped, I hit it, then I stopped other scripts. Okay, so let's kill that. Now, as you can see, like if we let it go, it's just gonna create way too many sprites. Okay, so we have a couple options here. We could say, um, let's see here, what could we do? Well, actually, I think probably the best option is this one. So, if, so all we'll do is we're going to use a random number. So, if random number from 1 to 10 equals 10, so it's going to keep checking a random number. So, 6, no, 7, no, 8, no, 4, no, 10, yes, boom. It'll create a clone. Okay, let me move that out of the way. So let's try that one. Okay, so you can see there's new sprites coming on, but not quite as fast as last time. Okay, so you know, I think that was still a little bit too fast. So let's make it 1 to 20. So, or even let's say make it 30. So that's not super difficult. I'm going to stop it. So. Again, click the sprite. There's one. There's another one just appeared. So you can see new sprites are appearing. It gives me some time to get this guy out of here. Oops, he's a little too fast for me. Yeah.
Okay, so that's kind of where we want to go with that. So you can see, again, so then if I go back to, let's say, there's 15, so I'll say we'll get it to 100 points. Okay, so I'm going to try this the real way. hundred coming up and the ghoul should appear. Oops. There's the ghoul. See new new ghosts are appearing. Not very quickly, but still. Yeah. Okay, so then I can keep going on the game.